in this lesson. We do some work on naming line types. A vertical line goes straight up and down. A horizontal line goes straight across, okay, much like the horizon. Lines are parallel if they lie on the same flat surface and will never meet. All right, that's an example of two parallel lines there. And so is that, okay? So if you continue the parallel lines, they would never meet. Lines are perpendicular if they meet at right angles, okay? Which means they meet at 90 degrees. So if we have a look at a line there, another line meeting that, that angle there, if that's 90 degrees, okay, and that one will be as well, they are an example of perpendicular lines. Sometimes the lines go right through each other like that. But again, if we measure the angles and they're all 90 degrees, then we say that those lines are perpendicular to each other. Let's look at an example. Now, here is a rectangle, A, B, C, D. We're asked firstly to name the horizontal lines. Okay, horizontal going across like the horizon. We can see that that line there from A to B, known as AB, we can call that AB, that line. And this line here, okay, from D to C. So we call that line DC. So the two horizontal lines are AB and DC. In this one, we need to name the vertical lines, the ones going straight up and down. Well, you can see that line there going straight up and down. We could call that AD. By the way, we could also call that DA. All right, doesn't matter what order we, we write the letters in. AD would be the same as DA. This line here is also vertical going straight up and down. BC. So the two lines, AD and BC. Name the pairs of parallel lines. Well, looking at those two lines there, all right, they're the horizontal lines, they're parallel. So AB and DC. Is there another pair? What about these ones here, shown? So that line AD and that line BC, well, they're parallel as well. So let's write that in, AD and BC. Name the pairs of perpendicular lines. Okay, perpendicular, they meet at right angles at 90 degrees. Well, let's consider this top line firstly, the AB line. And this line here, notice that that angle is 90 degrees. Okay, so that line there, AB and AD, they're perpendicular. Now let's leave AB there. Is there another line that's perpendicular to that? Well, if we consider this line here, Yes, that angle there is 90 degrees. So we say that BC is perpendicular to AB. So that's another pair of perpendicular lines. All right, is there any more? Well, let's start with the bottom line here. And you can see that this line meeting at right angles at 90 degrees. So yes, DC and AD. That's another pair of perpendicular lines. Again, leaving DC there. What about that? Is that 90 degrees? Yes, it is. So BC is also perpendicular to DC, so we have another pair.